Alright, welcome everyone to Marvel Man's Game Room, and today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Arkham Knight Batman from McFarlane Toys. So let's crack this bad boy open, and let's see what, he, what we got here. the man himself. And we're going to get his card. And we got his card here. And I shall attempt to read this with the light. So, Batman Arkham Knight video game. Real name Bruce Wayne. Height 6'2". Weight, 210 pounds. As a child, Bruce Wayne watched his parents, as his, as his parents were brutally killed in Gotham City Crime Alley. Wow. Okay, Gotham City's Crime Alley. Traumatized by their deaths, he devoted his life to becoming the world's greatest weapon against crime, the Batman, to become the ultimate vigilante, the Dark Knight. Disciplined his mind body to reach the pinnacle of mental and physical superiority. He's a master detective and an expert martial artist, but his greatest weapon is his mind. Batman has a plan for every occasion, as well as high tech weapons, gadgets, and vehicles to assist in his relentless pursuit of justice. Man, that's pretty cool. All right, so let's. Get Batman out of his plastic. Actually, let's get some of his weapons out. So we got the electric gun that he uses in Arkham City. And you have to go into the uh, police evidence room to acquire it in Arkham Knight. We have his explosive gel canister, which also is the um, device he uses to administer uh, Dr. Langstrom's cure, as well as take a blood sample from him. So that's pretty cool. And it looks like we got a remote batarang. Notice how it has the uh, symbol in the middle. That means it's uh, able to be programmed. It's also got little buttons on the side. This side looks a lot better with the uh, bat symbol. This side's a little wonky. Anyway, moving on. Let's get this boy out of his package. That sounded a little gross. In fact, since it sounds a little gross, we're going to go through his package. Alright. Thank goodness these guys only got like... Oh, the capes. Oh no, capes. Capes in these plastic are not, are not friends. Oh, okay, there we go. Whew, those capes, man. Those capes. Got a little, little messed up arm there. Okay, let's pivot his head. Got a little. Let's get him a little bit. He's got a. Oh, that's a good feature. Okay, so this uh, shoulder pad is, you know, flexible, so it can move. So you can move his arm all the way up. It looks like back a little bit too. He's got double jointed elbows. His uh, bat. The spikes on his gauntlet are kind of poopy, but whatever. It definitely looks like he's got um, full rotation with the wrists. He's got full rotation with that. He's got an ab thing. He's got, okay, come on. Don't look, don't look wonky. Move his head. Can't pivot it too much because of this back there. But you know, at least his ears aren't messed up like the uh, uh, DC Collectibles version. Like pretty much every. Every version of that, uh, every one of those figures had a bent ear. At least one bent ear. 
but that's okay. Yeah, he's got those ankle pivot. Got up and downs. He's got double jointed knees. He's got those. And he's got those. And his cape is eh, okay. Not the best. I like uh, Asylum's cape better, but man, his, his freaking waist is not cooperating. Looks like he's going in another direction. Alright, so. Boom. There's Bruce Vane. Alright, so. With that, I'm going to call it a day. Um, so that's my review. I'll do um, comparisons to the ones that I do have to or the DC collectibles and DC direct ones to the McFarlane figures at another point. I am also trying to get the Titan Joker so we can have that um, to review. And yeah, so if you're interested in this, I also do streams on this channel. Um, so subscribe, all that fun stuff, all of my social medias are in, in the, uh, links are on my channel, wow, English is another language, um, so, yeah, thanks again, and catch you all next time on Marvel Man's Game Room.